Hello everyone! Welcome to our English learning journey with movies. Let's explore and improve our English together. Sit through. Yeah, I think for us, kissing is pretty much like an opening act, you know? I mean, it's like the stand-up comedian you have to sit through before Pink Floyd comes out. <laughs> Sit through, meaning to stay until the end of an event such as a meeting or performance that is very long or boring. Example, I sat through the entire movie even though it was really bad. Three, two, one. You have to sit through the whole play. Oh, hell, I can't sit through the whole trip this way. I'm not sitting through another slideshow about ball cancer. Here's your fare and here's a little extra for sitting through it. I know I haven't read any of your work and I've never sat through a whole documentary, but you said I should be brave. Unlike this pregnancy, which is like sitting through Friday the 13th for nine months. If you just despise the way someone looks, you can't imagine sitting through even one date looking at this person. Then that's that. Good. The deal was, I sit through the ice hockey game and you watch the whole opera. And then he will sit through there at the dining table and then at some point genuinely ring a bell. Anybody who ever had to sit through a wedding or a funeral with her knows how she felt about formal occasions. <laughs> I think for us, kissing is pretty much like an opening act, you know? I mean, it's like the stand-up comedian you have to sit through before Pink Floyd comes out. <laughs> Bring back. After the concert's over, no matter how great the show was, you girls are always looking for the comedian again. <laughs> you know, I mean, we're in the car, we're fighting traffic, basically just trying to stay awake. <laughs> Yeah, well, word of advice. Bring back the comedian. Otherwise, next time you're going to find yourself sitting at home listening to that album alone. <laughs> Bring back, meaning to cause something to regain its former popularity. Example, he's planning to bring back disco music. Three, two, one. Bring back magic. And bring likability back to politics. Bring back suing music. <laughs> and bring back balance. If you don't do this, I'm going to bring back profession. You can't drink back the good old days. Bringing people back to health, back to life. He wanted someone else to bring back the bad news. Oh, so bring back capital punishment, the noose, firing squad. An absolute disgrace. Look at the way they voted to bring back the death penalty. After the concert's over, no matter how great the show was, you girls are always looking for the comedian again. <laughs> no, I mean, we're in the car, we're fighting traffic, basically just trying to stay awake. <laughs> yeah, well, word of advice. Bring back the comedian. Otherwise, next time you're going to find yourself sitting at home listening to that album alone. <laughs> Catch up with... Marshall, see, these are cave people. <laughs> okay, they have issues like... Gee, that glacier is getting kind of close. <laughs> See? Speaking of issues, isn't that your ex-wife? No. No? Yes, it is. Carol, hi! Okay, yes, yes it is. Uh, how about I'll uh, catch up with you in the Ice Age? Catch up with, meaning, to meet again at a later point in time. Example, I'm going to catch up with my friends over coffee this weekend. Three, two, one. I'll catch up with you. Catching up with an old friend? Yeah. I'll catch up with you later. No, 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 I'll catch up with you later. I've been catching up with old friends. I suppose we should catch up with everyone. I'd, I'd been meaning to catch up with her, to call her. If she goes now, we can catch up with her when you're free. I tried to tell you earlier, but I was just hoping that one of those would catch up with her. Mary Tate and Danita are over at the club. So why don't you all go ahead and... Uh... I'll catch up with you later, okay? Marshall, see, these are cave people. Okay, they have issues like, gee, that glacier is getting kind of close. See? Speaking of issues, isn't that your ex-wife? No, no. Yes, it is. Carol, hi! Okay, yes, yes it is. Uh, how about I'll uh, catch up with you in the Ice Age? Through with. Are you through with that? Yeah, sorry, the swallowing slowed me down. <laughs>
through with, meaning to have finished using something. Example, I'm through with junk food. I'm going to start eating healthy. Three, two, one. I'm through with this life. I'm through with it. I'll go. I'm through with this. I'm not through with my examination. Sit down. And you're through with this business now? Yes, sir, I am. I'm done with it. I'm through with this. I'll, uh, pretend this when I'm, uh, through with it. Just destroy that letter when you're through with it, will you? Ma'am, do me a favor and just be quiet until we're through with our investigation. By the time we're through with P&A, uh, you know, the above the line is going to take it to about 15. It was... <laughs> Yeah, sorry, the swallowing slowed me down. <laughs> ball something up. Whose little ball of paper is this? Oh, that would be mine. See, uh, I wrote a note to myself, and then I realized I didn't need the note, so I balled it up, and now I wish I was dead. <laughs> she already fluffed that pillow. Monica, you know, you already fluffed, but it's fine. <laughs> ball something up, meaning to form or wrap something into the shape of a ball. Example, he balled up the flag he was holding and took it inside. Three, two, one. You just ball it up and then you shove it. Richie, how about you ball up sometime? Check. Well, it was good. Keep it all balled up like a nut. And guess what I found balled up in the bottom of Temple's closet? I was looking for my blue sweater you borrowed, which I found balled up on the bottom of your closet. If you're my mom, you ball up the back of my sport coat and you push me forward like a human shield. But you ball up all them fingers into a mighty fist and you can strike a mighty blow. That suit looks good on you, but I bet it would look even better balled up in the corner of a hotel room. Hey, we could really ball it up with that kind of a bankroll, huh, Willard? Oh. I found him all balled up in the middle of the road and go, oh my God. <laughs> Whose little ball of paper is this? Oh, that would be mine. See, uh, I wrote a note to myself, and then I realized I didn't need the note, so I balled it up, and now I wish I was dead. <laughs> she already fluffed that pillow. Monica, you know, you already fluffed, but it's fine. <laughs> Stomp on. Oh, like I wasn't dreading tomorrow enough having to give it back to him. Hi, Barry. Remember me? I'm the girl in the veil that stomped on your heart in front of your entire family. Oh, God, and now I'm going to have to return the ring without the ring, which makes it so much harder. Stomp on, meaning to treat someone or something badly or to defeat him, her, or it. Example, the government should not be allowed to stomp on the rights of its citizens. Three, two, one. How you stomp on both their hearts? I just got my heart stomped on repeatedly. Yeah. And then you stomped on him. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah you're, you're the nice guy. And then people are like, hey, I'm going to stomp on that guy. He was patronizing you and you stomped on him, my opinion. City Hall would have stomped on this you. For the family, it got stomped on anyway. Every time, every time like a little piece of sunshine starts to shine, you just come and you stomp on it. Stomped on her like it was making Merlot. This is the basics, like how to stomp on little people like you. Oh, like I wasn't dreading tomorrow enough having to give it back to him. Hi, Barry. Remember me? I'm the girl in the veil that stomped on your heart in front of your entire family. Oh, God, and now I'm going to have to return the ring without the ring, which makes it so much harder. <laughs> have something on. Easy, Rage. We'll find it. Won't we? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, look. <laughs> All right, when would you have it on last? Boy, probably right before she lost it. <laughs> have something on, meaning if you have clothes or shoes on, you are wearing them. Example, I love that dress you had on last night. Three, two, one. You had on a gangster suit. She didn't have a ring on. You had on a breathing mask. She had on a blue sweater. You didn't see her. Are you serious? Yeah. I had on this little tight skating outfit. No, no, he had on a mask. We need that confession. Did he have on a brown suit? That doesn't excuse it. You had on a green dress. Your hair was a mess. <laughs> and you had a black eye. Oh, that's my motorcycle helmet. Did I not tell you about that? You have a ring on your finger within the month. Like he had on an invisible coat that would shield him from this place. 
Easy, Rage. We'll find it. Won't we? Yeah. Okay, look. All right, when'd you have it on last? Boy, probably right before she lost it. <laughs> fit into and be up to someone. How do you fit into this whole thing? Well, Carol says she and Susan want me to be involved, but if I'm not comfortable with it, I don't have to be involved. Basically, it's totally up to me. She is so great. I miss her. <laughs> fit into meaning to be comfortable with someone or something. Example, I'm not sure if I'll ever fit into this new city. Three, two, one. Didn't fit into her plan. And do I fit into that category? Sometimes, yes. And I tried to make you fit into that. And that's unfair to you. Think if Mateo fits into anything like that. If you don't fit into a category, they can't control you. Where do Frank and his business partners fit into this whole mess? I mean, how does it fit into this whole operation? I'm sick and tired of trying to find someone who fits into your notion of Mr. Right. He's not daddy. You've presumed I'd just be fitted into your life here, like one of my relics in your fine glass case. Oh, Mike had a rather traditional view of family life, and being a West End Wendy didn't really fit into that. Be up to someone, meaning being the responsibility of someone. Example, it's up to the manager to make the final decision. That's not up to me. And then the rest is up to me. It's not up to me, it's up to Sutherland. And uh, it's up to her to escape the dark galaxy and save the gleaming planet star system. Doris, it's totally up to you to decide what you want to keep and what you're willing to let go of. As the new editor, you got to help guide them with their news stories. But it's up to them to do the work. Okay, got it. So I guess it's up to you to decide whether you want to think and feel for yourself or wait till I drown. Here in America, uh, if you're accused of defaming someone, then it's up to them to prove that what you said is untrue. And the state made a bad law. The no. state made a bad law, and it's up to them to fix it. And then my dear Jesus goes on to tell Mary Magdalene that it's up to her to continue his church. How do you fit into this whole thing? Well, Carol says she and Susan want me to be involved, but if I'm not comfortable with it, I don't have to be involved. Basically, it's totally up to me. She is so great. I miss her. <laughs> On someone's part, bring something up and take the heat off someone. I know this is going to sound unbelievably selfish on my part, but were you planning on bringing up the whole baby lesbian thing? Because I, I think it might take some of the heat off me. <laughs> on someone's part, meaning done or experienced by someone. Example, a little humility on her part would be appreciated. Three, two, one. Was there any blame on his part? <laughs> no judgment on my part, I promise. I mean, it was rather unprofessional on her part. Contact would require communication skills on her part. I must say that it was a very clever scheme on my part. If he couldn't intervene on her part, he can't intervene to save you. The wrong decision on his part could lead him to suffer serious injury or even death. In the situation, I thought the chief hazard was any further acts of frenzy on his part. My date did not go well, unfortunately, due to a lack of chemistry and I think an overuse of profanity on my part. On our part, all our forces under Lord Gort have withdrawn or are trying to withdraw to the French coast, to Dunkirk, where we cannot reach them. Bring something up, meaning to mention a subject or start to talk about it. Example, she's always bringing up her health problems. Three, two, one. I couldn't bring it up. I hope I don't have to bring it up again. I feel like every time I bring it up, you change the subject. I'm sorry to bring it up after all these years. Don't tell me about it, and we will never bring it up again. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Eve. I didn't mean to bring up a sore subject. You cannot bring up a conversation topic if neither of you is interested. Feeling the need to bring up her name in random conversations. Every time I, 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 I bring up the subject of us working together, it's like this, this wall just comes up. Maybe... I don't like to bring up the past, but you know that little problem your daddy has.
take the heat off someone, meaning to reduces the amount of criticism you have to deal with. Example, my friend's joke helped to take some of the heat off me after I made a mistake at work. Three, two, one. Better take the heat off us. See if they can't take some of the heat off us. I'm gonna do everything I can to take the heat off you. None of it was true, but it took some of the heat off me. Might take some of the heat off my Ukrainians. Hi, Connie. Come on inside, I made some lemonade to take the heat off. Take some of the heat off you so you can get on with the real game. Bree. Well, Bree, I was hoping you'd show up one of these days, take some of the heat off me. I assume she's one of ours, so she'll still take the heat off whoever it is you're trying to protect. But the spin is that the other families were so worried about our prosecution that they killed Perone to take the heat off their own scams. I know this is going to sound unbelievably selfish on my part, but were you planning on bringing up the whole baby lesbian thing? Because I, I think it might take some of the heat off me. <laughs> Run into someone and playing very well. What that Rachel did to her life, we ran into her parents at the club. They were not playing very well. Mm. I'm not going to tell you what they spent on that wedding, mm. but $40,000 is a lot of money. <laughs> run into someone, meaning to meet or find someone or something by chance. Example, I ran into my ex-girlfriend at the park yesterday. Three, two, one. I just hope I run into her again, okay? It's so nice running into him. Am I really running into you twice in one week? You got more chance of winning the Powerball than running into him. That's okay. You're bound to run into him at the wedding. Oh my god, that is so funny running into you again. <laughs> um... This is my boyfriend. Fine for somebody who keeps running into her father, who's been dead for 20 years. You know, probably not. Um, and you know, if you, uh, if you run into him, maybe don't mention that I'm here. Anyway, I ran into her at the beauty parlor and she had the nerve to ask if she could help with the children's benefit ball. I've given up on this notion that somehow I'll just run into someone and know that she's the one. Play very well, meaning be nice to each other. Example, the new employees are playing very well with the rest of the team. They're all working together really well. Three, two, one. I told you, I don't play well with others. I do not work or play well with others. But it's good to see you playing well with others. He doesn't play well with others. This guy, you know, doesn't work and play well with others, if you ask me. Look, I'm sorry, but I don't play well with others. Apparently, I'm volatile, self-obsessed, don't play well with others. Someone has been working and playing well with others, Harold. I needed to be convincing, and the reindeer wasn't playing very well. If you believe you're playing well because you're getting laid, or because you're not getting laid, or because you wear women's underwear, then you are! And you should know that! <laughs> what that Rachel did to her life, we ran into her parents at the club. They were not playing very well. Mm. I'm not going to tell you what they spent on that wedding, but $40,000 is a lot of money. <laughs> Shoot for the stars. Look, there are people like Ross who need to shoot for the stars, with his museum and his papers getting published. Other people are satisfied with staying where they are. I'm telling you, these are the people who never get cancer. <laughs> Shoot for the stars, meaning to set one's goals or ambitions very high. Example, the athlete is shooting for the stars and hoping to win a gold medal in the Olympics. Three, two, one. I shoot for the stars. That's right, you shoot for the stars. Oh, no. Wow, you're shooting for the stars, aren't you, Walsh? So shoot for the stars, okay? All right. This was a challenge to literally shoot for the stars. A mover, a shaker. I'm shooting for the stars, Darren. I'm shooting for a star ant peg. That's great. You shoot for the stars, son. But no, what about you? Shoot for the stars, kid. But with Honjobs.org, we'll have you shooting for the stars. <laughs> Look, there are people like Ross who need to shoot for the stars. With his museum and his papers getting published, other people are satisfied with staying where they are. I'm telling you, these are the people who never get cancer. <laughs> Have it all. And I read about these women trying to have it all, and I thank God, our little harmonica doesn't seem to have that problem. Have it all, meaning to get everything one wants. Example, Jill has it all. A great job, a loving husband, and two adorable children. Three, two, one. 
I'll have it all. Soon you will have it all. Be that couple who has it all. You know, it just feels good to have it all out. And having it all just make me different. I'll have it all ready for my meeting with them on Wednesday. My daughter has it all over me, I can tell you that. No one would ever believe that, but you have it all on video. Look, hopefully the district judge will have it all sorted out by Monday morning, okay? Well, speaking about you can have it all, when are you two going to start a family? <laughs> and I read about these women trying to have it all, and I thank God our little harmonica doesn't seem to have that problem. <laughs> Here's the deal. I realize you guys have been wondering what exactly happened between Carol and me, and so, well, here's the deal. Carol's a lesbian. She's living with a woman named Susan. She's pregnant with my child. And she and Susan are going to raise the baby. Here's the deal, meaning this is the plan, scheme, or proposition. Example, here's the deal. We need to finish this project by next week. Three, two, one. All right, here's the deal. Okay, here's the deal, man. I cannot. So here's the deal. Here's the deal, reporter. Here's the deal. If I want you. All right. Here's the deal. We fail the mission, you die. But here is the deal we are going to make you. Here's the deal. I'm getting Ren Cohn. It's a done deal. Okay, well, here's the deal. Do you guys do buy and sell? Here's the deal. If we land safely, one night this week, my mother's house, my whole family, sweet I realize you guys have been wondering what exactly happened between Carol and me, and so, well, here's the deal. Carol's a lesbian. <laughs> She's living with a woman named Susan. She's pregnant with my child. And she and Susan are going to raise the baby. Take one's time. Folks are really that bad, huh? Well, you know, these people are pros. <laughs> they know what they're doing. They take their time. They get the job done. <laughs> Take one's time, meaning to do something slowly or carefully without hurrying. Example, Marie took her time cutting my hair and did it really well. Three, two, one. I took my time. I didn't want to be early. So just being careful, taking the time. Taught me how to take my time. Because women take their time with email. The judges are taking their time. Um, it was very important for me to to truly take my time to find my voice. I, I like to really take my time to crack into the... This, this is terrible it's, analogy. It's not great. <laughs> Taking my time. It's a marathon, not a sprint. They rearranged this kid's molecules and they took their time about it. Rich. I'd like to be calm and take my time alone, forget about the rest of the world, and just paint this here. <laughs> Folks are really that bad, huh? Well, you know, these people are pros. <laughs> they know what they're doing. They take their time. They get the job done. Roll with the punches and on the table. It's funny. Um, uh, we agreed we'd spend the rest of our lives together. Things change. Roll with the punches. <laughs> I believe Julia's on the table. Roll with the punches, meaning to adapt yourself to a difficult situation. Example, I had a lot of unexpected expenses this month, but I'm rolling with the punches and trying to stay on budget. Three, two, one. I'm rolling with the punches, baby! You have to roll with the punches. And roll with the punches. She rolls with the punches. Roll with the punches. Tomorrow's another day. Well, in the meantime, you roll with the punches. You know how to roll with the punches. This is totally normal. I mean, in relationships, you have to roll with the punches. You and me, just roll with the punches. Well, you gotta roll with the punches, you know. On the table, meaning being discussed or considered. Example, the offer on the table is a 10% wage increase. Three, two, one. 
But if you change your mind, the offer's still on the table. I have something I'd like to put on the table. That offer is still on the table. What about your offer? Is it still on the table? Ted, Sharon says there's another offer on the table and we have to move on this, so I say we do it. You tell them the next communication from them better be an offer on the table or this is over. Yes. There's an offer on the table and it's big. The issue on the table! Secretary Hamilton's plan to assume state debt and establish a national bank. Yeah, you know, I figured I'm just going to put my money back on the table and see what kind of cards I get. I'm all ears if you got something legit that you want to put on the table. <laughs> it's funny, um, uh, we agreed we'd spend the rest of our lives together. Things change. Roll with the punches. <laughs> I believe Julia's on the table. Debt credit. Why is she in the title? Because it's my baby, too. But it's fine. Really, um, I don't remember you making any sperm. <laughs> We all know what a challenge that is. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, you two, stop it. No, no, no. She gets a credit. Hey, I'm in there, too. <laughs> Debt credit, meaning to receive acknowledgement or praise for something. Example, the scientists got credit for discovering a new planet. Three, two, one. He got credit for Cohen's downfall. You said I could get extra credit researching this? Yeah. Listen, Shrimp, the only reason that I'm sitting here in this ridiculous outfit is to get credit for my college application. I can rig the timestamp on the punching clock to make sure you get credit for a full shift. All of you, along with Emily and Patrick Gates, will get credit for this discovery. He doesn't get credit as an executive producer, which, let's face it, is what he is. Do not get credit for kicking down a door that's already open. But are you sure you're not pissed off just because we might not be getting credit? So if you just sign right here as an observer, I'll get credit for the kill. Who cares? You know, it's always good to get extra credit for college. You ever think of LeBron James and Shaquille O'Neal auditioned for their school musical? Why is she in the title? Because it's my baby, too. But it's fine. Really, um, I don't remember you making any sperm. <laughs> We all know what a challenge that is. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, you two, stop it. No, no, no. She gets a credit. Hey, I'm in there, too. <laughs> Wind up and get one's way. I'm suggesting Geller Willick Bunch. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you see what he's doing? He knows Noah's going to say all those names. Uh, he knows they'll wind up calling her Geller, then he gets his way. My way? You, you think this is my way? Believe me, of all the ways I ever imagined this moment in my life being, this is not my way. You know what? I, I'm, this is too hard. I'm not, I can't knock, do Knock, knock. Wind up, meaning to bring something, especially a discussion or meeting, to an end. Example, it's time to wind up the meeting. I have a plane to catch. Three, two, one. You'll wind up horribly murdered. And wind up hurting yourself. I could wind up anywhere. We're gonna wind up at 25,000. How did daddy wind up in the hot seat? But, uh, you get a nervous mother. You could wind up in a doctor's office. Now, Julie Baker did not wind up in the Mayfield Times for being an 8th grade Einstein. Well, at least he knows enough not to wind up in an Egyptian tomb. Still don't know how Hadley wound up in a Chinese prison. And you're gonna wind up in the hospital with some horrible sexual disease. Get one's way, meaning to get or have what one wants. Example, she's very good at using her charm to get her way. Three, two, one. Always get my way. She uses guilt to get her way. And I always get my way in the end. Well, Nell usually gets her way. <laughs> my mother's not a barrel of laughs when she doesn't get her way. How did you convince your parents to let you go to the winter ball on Christmas Eve? Hashtag I always get my way. She's belligerent, uh, she's entitled, and uh, when she doesn't get her way, she makes noise. Oh, I don't. Sure you want to know? Does your boyfriend always get his way? He's got the ump on him because he didn't get his way with me last night. If he gets his way, he'll have unlimited access to the combined intelligence streams of nine countries. I'm suggesting Geller Willick Bunch. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you see what he's doing? He knows Noah's going to say all those names. Uh, he knows they'll wind up calling her Geller, then he gets his way. My way? You, you think this is my way? Believe me, of all the ways I ever imagined this moment in my life being, this is not my way. You know what? I, I'm, this is too hard. I'm not, I can't knock, do it. Knock, Work out and a cheap shot. I hope you two are very happy. I really do. Oh, and, and men, you know, if, if, if everything works out and, and you guys end up getting married and having kids and everything, 
I just hope they have his old hairline and your old nose. <laughs> okay, I know it's a cheap shot, but I feel so much better now. <laughs> Workout, meaning if a problem or complicated situation works out, it gradually gets better or gets solved. Example, don't worry about anything. It'll all work out in the end. You'll see. Three, two, one. I hope it works out. Jimmy, it'll all work out. Things work themselves out in the end. Sure we will. It always works out in the end. You just have to picture that it will all work out. It's all about believing that everything's going to work out in the end. I guess in the end, things seldom work out exactly the way you expect. Tell me a story where everything works out in the end for the evil witch. He had this way of making me feel like everything was going to work out in the end. Actually, it all works out rather well, because I shall be out and about promoting my book. A cheap shot, meaning a criticism or attack on someone that is unfair. Example, I think her making fun of his wife was a cheap shot. Three, two, one. It was a cheap shot! <laughs> it was just a cheap shot. I'm sorry. It was a cheap shot. It wasn't a cheap shot, Terry. You don't take cheap shots. No, I don't. <laughs> Look, I agree. She took some cheap shots. This stuff would break his heart. That's a cheap shot. And I really, really wanted to go after Stanson for that cheap shot. Objection, Your Honor. That's a cheap shot even for Mr. Greco. It's a cheap shot. He's done a great deal for this country. <laughs> I hope you two are very happy. I really do. Oh, and, and men, you know, if, if, if everything works out and, and you guys end up getting married and having kids and everything, I just hope they have his old hairline and your old nose. <laughs> okay, I know it's a cheap shot, but I feel so much better now. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video.